So we're here for a quick little continuation with your man Leonidas on the super update nag and the fix. Now as you guys did see in the previous video I attempted to log in. That was impossible. It's obviously server related most likely. I'm sure that'll be fixed and I'll have a way to get back in. Um, I did take a plunge a while back when it came to the super update nag. I did uh, wipe everything from my system. I had lost all my save data. There was no save backup at that time. And um, that didn't fix it whatsoever. So I took a plunge and I let everybody know not to do that. Um, that it wouldn't resolve the issue in any way, shape, or form. If anything, it'd probably put you in a worse situation. Um, but after applying the fix, the, the gag fix that's in the homebrew store, I'm going to include a link to that. Um, you are able to access the switch brew DNS. So if you add in custom DNS settings for your internet settings, um, if you set your primary and secondary DNS to 045.055.142.122, um, you could access the switch brew or the private hidden browser if you want to call it on the Nintendo Switch itself. Now when I actually attempt to connect to the internet it is going to connect to the actual hidden browser that normally you wouldn't be able to. And when I continue here I am on Google right there for you guys. Now, as you can see the reason why this is very important is for accessing homebrew if in the future in the near future this is the method that will be used for um, say 4.0 and 5.0 software to enter homebrew without a jig then at least you do have this option remember that's an option options are good um, in case something's fixed or is no longer an option maybe you'll have one of the other options <laughs> so that's why this is very important is because with many people the super update nag will prevent you from even reaching this point here this um, hidden private custom browser whatever you want to call it on your Nintendo switch yes this switch on the left is running 4.1.0 I'm gonna take the time with my pro controller to show that real quick unless it's telling me there is a system update once again which is pretty ridiculous to know this thing is consistently accessing the internet even though I have airplane mode on. Which means when you turn airplane mode on, if you wanted to fully disconnect from the internet, you would have to actually turn off or forget your internet settings altogether for your network in that regards.